feel like I need something in this area here because it's looking a bit blank and I don't know what I can put there but this is irritating me there needs to be something here I don't know if he's too dark for the camera to pick up I don't know I feel like he looks like just a big dark blob I'm sorry Camembert but it's not working unfortunately I don't know if that's the vibe or I will return you back to James's room where I stole you from. Uh, I'm just going to sit here in the middle. I don't know why I actually didn't think of that to start off with. Why was I sitting like to the side and being like, oh my god, like this space here looks so blank. We need to fill that with something. And I could just have filled it with myself. Hi, I'm Christy. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. It has been a wee while since I last uploaded a video. Not been a while since I last filmed a video. I filmed a video last week and then when I went back to edit it, I realised that the entire time, and I mean the entire time that I was like doing, it was like get ready with me, the entire time I was doing my makeup, it was like the only thing in frame was my forehead. Like I don't know how I managed that, I don't know why I never once like looked up at the viewfinder to make sure that I was like in the screen, but somehow it's just my forehead the entire time. So I mean, I don't think anybody would want to watch that. Anyway, not doing a makeup-y thing today. I am doing a wish haul, as you can probably see by the title. I have never bought anything from Wish before. I never even really knew what Wish was until I started watching Wish hauls myself. I've seen Wish a lot already. So yeah, I started watching other people doing Wish hauls and I thought, I like clothes. I like cheap things. I like spending my money on tap that I'll never use. So it seemed like the perfect thing for me to do. A lot of the things that I've actually bought are like t-shirts. I know that a lot of people do like trying on like dresses from Wish because they have like these really beautiful, beautiful like even like wedding dresses and stuff on there for like really, really cheap. But the things that people tend to get don't necessarily always look like what is on the website. I was actually buying things that I genuinely wanted to wear and genuinely liked and I am like a kind of casual t-shirty kind of person like my favourite thing fashion wise is probably like a slogan t-shirt or something kind of quirky or like I also have very ugly fashion sense so some of the things that I've bought um, you might not like, no one does and people have already told me that they are disgusting but I personally love them. I know there are loads and loads of things here, I've just got a couple of things but I did that spending like a fair amount of money. I think all together it maybe did come in maybe about £130-ish which for the amount that I've got is actually alright. I found that shipping was more expensive than the actual clothes because I think a lot of the things come from China. Um, I am going to stop rambling on and just get on with the haul. But the first thing in the haul is this t-shirt that I'm actually wearing right now and I shall move so that you can see it. And it's just this basic style tee and it has this little print on the front of it that says let's make special brownies and then it shows three kids having a really fun time i just absolutely love this t-shirt i feel like it's exactly my style it's funny it's quirky i love the retro print on the front of it um yeah i love this t-shirt very much for reference i am generally usually a uk size 8 in t-shirts if i want the t-shirt to fit me like pretty slim line but generally I like my t-shirts to be a little bit bigger so usually I will always either go for like a 10 or a 12 especially when it's this kind of style of basic tee. I just personally think that they look a little bit better if they're worn really casually and really loose fitting. That's just how I like to wear them. This is in the size medium that I've got so you can kind of get a feel for the fit and the medium is pretty baggy on me. But yeah. Very nice. And also I was actually pretty impressed by the quality of these things. I was half expecting to get them and them would be a total shit show. But some of the things I haven't opened but like this quality feels nice. I'm not like a fashion person so I don't know how much I'm actually going to have to say about each one of these items. I just really like watching these hauls, seeing what other people have bought, getting inspiration to buy things for myself. And that's kind of why I'm putting this video out here. I am not like going to be like hitting you with like the fashion lingo and all of that nonsense. I am just going to show you the shit and that's 
really about as informational as this video is going to get. The next t-shirt I got is similar in the way that it is that kind of vintage print but this t-shirt is more of like a kind of stretchy lycra material. Actually it feels really good quality. This isn't like, like this t-shirt here is like a kind of cotton just normal t-shirty material but this is like really stretchy and the material feels like really really good quality so I was like really impressed actually when this came but and this is just this little t-shirt here of this charming young man with a baseball bat with nails in it and the word sports written across it. We like sports and we don't care who knows from shooting hoops to the Super Bowl. It's in the same style as that. I've literally just opened this up from the plastic packaging that it came in. It is the same kind of like the material but I feel like this sports one that I had here is like a little bit sturdier and a little bit better quality than um, this one I have here and I also think the sports one's a little bit smaller even though they're both a medium. Anyway this one is the same kind of vibe as the last one but it has this little slogan here and let's summon demons and some kids doing some dodgy stuff with their little friend there um, again I really loved this t-shirt when I seen it now that I'm looking at it I feel like it's short but wide I'm going to hold it up against this sports one and see if it's just my imagination they actually are pretty much the exact same size to be honest the let's summon demon ones is about an inch wider but lengthwise mm, actually yeah maybe it's about an inch wider and an inch longer and I definitely feel like the quality on the sports one um, is a little bit better than this one. This one just feels like very stretchy and I'm not actually sure how this is going to wash but um, I really like it anyway so hopefully it's fine. Again another similar style a kind of t-shirt. You can tell that I definitely have like a certain type when it comes to clothes. Actually when I was going through like the list of all the little t-shirts that they've done in this kind of style I could have honestly bought all of them. I really liked every single one of them. It's definitely like the kind of t-shirt that I like to wear day to day and um, I don't know they're just fun really aren't they? They're fun and cynical and just something a little bit different like I never really see people like wearing t-shirts like this and um, so yeah I do like when I can have something a little bit different because you know I am unique I'm not like other girls. So this one is the same kind of style but it has like this kind of red band around the uh, neck part and around the sleeves as well. It's that same kind of lycra material. More similar I would say to the kind of looser let summon demons material rather than like the sturdiness of the sports one and it has this little image printed on it here saying mummy can we keep him and then this little picture here of this very fetching little dog. Again I just thought this was really cute and I feel like I will get quite a lot of wear out of this but I have two things to say about this t-shirt now I've opened it up. First of all I absolutely love it. Like, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, obviously, as you can see, it's got this print here, a Chucky with a knife on the front of it. Chucky is an absolute classic and definitely one of my like favourite like horror movies. Like, I have a lot of nostalgia attached to Chucky. It was one of the first horror movies that I had ever watched and I remember it scaring the absolute shit out of me when I was younger. I mean scaring the shit out of me and watching it back as an adult is the funniest thing ever because how I was ever frightened by Chucky I will not know but you must remember that I did grow up in the 90s and um, there wasn't like as many special effects and stuff as what they have nowadays so back then like that was like top notch horror like oh my god how have they managed to do that like that is like phenomenal Watching Chucky back now is hilarious because it is so, the acting is so terrible, the storyline is so bad, everything about it is so awful and cringy and it is everything that I love in a movie and um, so when I seen this t-shirt I absolutely had to buy it. I can't actually remember what size on this I ordered but I do remember wanting actually to wear this as a dress like a t-shirt dress and hold on I'll just hold it up on myself so I mean it is pretty much just to like my my hip here so I probably won't be wearing this as a dress 
um, without getting arrested anyway. So I will need to double check on what size I actually ordered because I do feel like I ordered a much bigger size than what has come. But that doesn't matter, like I'll still wear this anyway like with uh, jeans or like um, little cycling shorts or leggings or whatever. Um, I'm not too fussed that I can't wear it as a dress, that's just a little bit annoying. Um, but maybe it was my mistake and I actually accidentally ordered a small size. So this next one that I got and I got in an... I'm pretty sure that I got this in an XL again because I really wanted to wear it as like a t-shirt dress. It is this Hollywood Vampires t-shirt and it definitely is like wide like... You could fit like two of me in this potentially, but it is not long. It's like slightly longer than the t-shirt that I'm wearing. Like it comes to just below my bum, so maybe I could wear this as a t-shirt dress, but I feel like I would definitely have to wear like cycling shorts or something underneath it. I also feel like the print on this isn't like the best print in the world, but that's what I get for being a cheap bitch and not getting actual proper merch. Just when I seen it on there, I just thought I would buy it and just see what it was like. To be honest, I probably am going to prop, um, I'm proper, 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 proper. I probably am going to get myself an actual Hollywood Vampires. I really want a hoodie and I really want a t-shirt as well, so I probably will actually go on the website like for the official Hollywood Vampires website and get myself some proper merch. Um, I don't mind paying the extra money for it, it's just that when I seen this on Wish I thought I would see what it was like and like I still will wear it and stuff like uh, but once like my actual merch comes here this will probably become bedwear for me to be honest. If you don't know who Hollywood Vampires are by the way, it is a band with Alice Cooper, Johnny Depp and Joe Perry and I like them very very much. Okay, this is my final t-shirt that I bought and it is honestly, it is the cutest thing that I've ever seen in my life. Like I am so glad that I bought this t-shirt as soon as I've seen it, like I absolutely had to have it. And it is these three little cherubs with guns, how very cute, but the cutest part is the little slogan at the bottom. You can't sit with us! <coughs> <coughs> I feel like this shit is so dusty, like... Next, I have a backpack that I am obsessed with and I have been waiting and not using it so that I could do this haul and then use it afterwards. So I am so glad that I am going to get to be using it. Now I'm feeling it, it feels kind of scratchy actually. But how cute is this backpack? Oh, um fucking J. Honestly, how nice is this backpack? I fucking love Bart Simpson. I love the Simpsons in general. I love Bart Simpson. He was actually like my first celebrity crush. That's weird. Like, I'll get into it like some other time. But I am obsessed with this bag. And it was actually like sitting on like the table in my living room and James, like my son, came home from school and he was like, oh my god, you got me a bag. And I was like, oh, yes. That would make more sense for the Bart Simpson bag to be for my 10 year old child and not me. But I've told him that he can borrow it and he's fine with it anyway. I'm not sure if like this kind of design, if like, I'm not 100% sure but maybe Supreme done something with Bart Simpson and very very similar. I might be talking rubbish, I don't know, I am not like a kind of like brands kind of person. I don't really keep up with like brands and what they're doing. Um, but I feel like this is possibly a dupe of some, a dupe, a dupe, a dupe of something that a kind of high-end brand has done but for somebody who's like not really all that fussed about like brands when it comes to clothing um, this is perfect and I can't really remember how much it was, I'll probably put that like on screen somewhere hopefully um, but I love this and I love a backpack like half the time I am far too lazy to carry about like an actual handbag like in the crook of my arm and I am just not feminine enough for that sometimes. Sometimes I'll pull it out of the bag and I'll be really girly. 99% of the time it's a backpack or shit in my pockets. Next I have another bag but it's like a little shopper one that I have here. It's not like a canvas material like I thought that it would be actually but it is a... I'm not actually sure what kind of material this is but I assumed it was going to be canvas and of course the reason that I got this is because it has this Alice Cooper print on the front which I think is really really cool. I have been starting to use like reusable shopping bags lately because you know fuck plastic, save the environment, 
all of that good stuff. I have been making an effort to be a little bit more environmentally friendly and trying like when I can not to use plastic shopping bags and like plastic bottles and stuff like that because I know how much damage it's doing to the environment and that was kind of like I didn't really make New Year's resolution. Uh, I didn't really make New Year's resolutions this year, but that kind of like was something that I was conscious of, and I kind of told myself that I really wanted to make sure that I was being a little bit more aware of like my effect on the environment and um, be a little bit more environmentally friendly, basically. So uh, yeah, that includes like having like these kind of little shopper bags for when I'm going for like messages or whatever or even like if I have like a bigger bag with me I can put one of these in and um, because so often like I end up just going to like the shops and buying shit like that I didn't know that I was going to buy and um I always wish that I had a little kind of reusable shopper with me but this is actually better quality than what I thought it was going to be like it is like fully lined inside it's got a little zip compartment inside as well for like little coins and whatnot and it has like a zip across the front here so um i'm really pleased with that actually it's much better quality than what i thought it was going to be and it has alice cooper on it so i mean i really couldn't have said no to that and i also picked up another one of these for my mum because she is very much the fan of Alice Cooper as well. Okay, these shoes that i have you're either going to love them or you're going to hate them in fact, like, I am, like, 99.9% .9 sure that you are going to hate them because, like, they are absolutely hideous. Like, they, they are truly revolting. But that being said, I absolutely love them and they're just, just everything that I could ever want in a shoe. Oh, look how ugly and horrible these are they are honestly my new favorite shoes they're very fresh prince of bel air i feel um very like late 80s early 90s kind of style like very retro looking and um, i just love them and i did actually try them on and they are so 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 comfy and um, i need to do up the laces and all that as well of course um but i mean these I think I will get so much wear out of these. Uh, a few years ago, if you had told me that I would have willingly purchased a pair of shoes like this, I would have, honestly, I would have swore that you were the biggest fucking liar ever. But, uh, they're my favourite, favourite things in the world. Like, they're so ugly and I love them. The next thing I have is, like, of the same kind of vintage energy as that. And it is this corduroy colour block jacket here. How am I going to hold this up actually so that you can see it properly? Maybe it would be best just to put it on and let you see it. And I felt like this was very 90s. I love the colour block detail of it. I love the fact that it's got a hood as well. And I also really like the fact that it cuffed in at the sleeves. I hate when there's like a sleeve and it's like so baggy and all over the joint. Like I just really, really like this jacket and I can see me wearing this quite a lot. It would be, it's like quite, it's like super thin material as well. So I mean in the summer you could easily wear that. In the summer in Glasgow you could definitely wear this and in the winter you could put like a jumper or whatever underneath it to kind of layer it up because it is pretty thin. But I think this jacket is possibly one of, if not the favourite purchase. Either the jacket or the shoes I would say is my favourite purchase. I just know that I'm going to wear this loads and I just think it will look so cool. Like see if you're wearing like an all black outfit. And then just this is like a kind of like statement piece. It's like, I feel like it's going to be a way to really make like a really simple plain outfit look a little bit funkier. What the fuck is this? Oh, I remember what this is. So this next thing is a makeup bag. What does it say about it again? I can't remember. Something about, oh, so like, I feel like it folds out into this thing here why did i buy this like why why the fuck did i buy this i honestly have no idea i have more than enough makeup bags what's going on with these zips here then it has little zips in the side and i think the idea is you put everything in the middle 
and then pull the drawstring. Shall we just try it? So we put some stuff in the middle. This, this, um, this, and why not sling in my hair body as well? Pull the drawstrings. Ah, okay. And then you've just got these big massive drawstrings though. I don't know, man. I mean, I think that it looks cute. I feel like this looks like something that you would see on Frenchie's dressing table in Greece. And I like that kind of vibe. And I guess you could fit loads of things in this, I suppose. Because, I mean, you could have it like super big like this and then tie these drawstrings over. I have no idea why I bought this to be honest. I think I think I was just like lost in the moment and I was like buying so much and I was getting you know what, I was just getting ahead of myself, I was forgetting myself. So I just have a couple more things that are accessories, like just like little bits that I picked up. This one was definitely my favourite thing that I picked up, although I haven't quite figured out how it actually Wear it. And it is this little dragon ear cuff. I really hope that that's focusing properly. I mean, that is so cute. And I thought, well, it's Game of Thrones season coming up soon. I'm going to need to show my love for my sister Daenerys, who, by the way, actually does my tits in sometimes. Like, I am all for like, woo, like Daenerys, like girl power, and like she's came from like this like little weak girl that was getting like sold to somebody, and like I am all for her, like I like Daenerys, but I also think she's a pain in the tits as well, like she really, really fucking bugs me, but I also really, really like it at the same time. But yeah, so the problem that I found with this was that I couldn't figure out how to wear it actually was the problem but I only like very briefly looked at it. Maybe I'm gonna go away and see if I can put it on. I'm sorry but I'm I being stupid because there is literally no fucking way to have this stay on your ear. There, there is no way. I mean it looks really really cool but it, it cannot stay on your ear. Like there is literally no way. The only thing like to hold on is this little cuff that's at the bottom and then I kind of thought that the dragon's little hand and leg was going to like wrap around your ear but then like you need to like push parts of your ear out this part in like oh wait hold on is it in? I mean it's not actually in it is just like sitting there that's a real disappointment about that because I would have really really loved to wear that and I think it's such a cool idea and it looks so funky as hell but um, th there's no way that I'm going to be able to keep it on so I don't really see the point in it but um, that's that's unfortunate. Next thing I got were these cute little stud earrings in the shape of little chihuahuas. I'm not even sure if you can see that properly in the camera. Also I don't know why this guy only has one eye hopefully you can see that but they're like cute nonetheless they're just like little rose gold colouring and I just thought they would be like very sweet I love chihuahuas very very much I have two little chihuahuas a little long haired chihuahua Evie and a little short haired chihuahua elf so I mean I just had to get them and I think that they were free and he only paid maybe like one or two pound shipping or something like that so um I feel I feel sorry for my little deformed one with one eye but um, that's fine, like we love all dogs here and actually both of them only have three legs. The next thing I got was this little necklace with the Virgo symbol on it here. It is just a little simple necklace with the Virgo symbol. I just wanted like a cute little necklace that I could wear with like plain t-shirts or whatever and um, this is what I got. And it obviously says Virgo at the top on the little card and then the dates that would make you a Virgo. And it also says, Virgo is a sign of idealism and purity. You are compassionate, nurturing and extremely tender hearted. You are determined to stand up for justice and are always a champion for the mistreated. <laughs> That's me. I only have two more things to show you and they are little badges. And the first one is this little... Whoop. It's this little ticket to the science fiction double feature picture show and as a massive Rocky Horror fan I had to have this 
They had the little ticket one, they had a little red one available and a little black one available and I just think that'll be cute like on like a little denim jacket or like a bag or something. I will put it somewhere but I'm not quite sure yet, probably on a jacket. And this second one here I did just get just because it made me laugh and I did think it was dead dead cute and it is this little cute uterus or a cuterus. And again, I'll put that like on a jacket or on like the strap of a bag or something like that. I'll find somewhere for it to be. But I just thought that was really cute. And with those little badges again, I think it was just pay shipping and no cost for them. And then maybe like one or two pounds for shipping. So that is the end of the haul and therefore that means the end of the video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos from me. And I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!